Okay, this topic is called moving averages and uh, here's some data about temperatures in a particular town and we've got the temperatures at uh, three monthly intervals so we've got December, March, June, September for every year so we've got four pieces of data that make up a whole year and as you can see the, the temperatures have been plotted on a graph and they go up and down because temperature is seasonal hotter in the summer, colder in the winter so the idea of this topic is to find an average over a whole year to smooth out the seasonal variation so if we take the first four points that's a whole year so the average of those four points is five degrees and then if we take the next four and when I say the next four I mean just shifting along by one so it's only actually one number that's changed in the calculation and then the average of the next four is six degrees again the next four the average is seven degrees and so on the important thing to remember about this is that when you take the next four it's really only the next one along but the calculation has four numbers in it uh, and when I say the average of course I mean the mean so adding them all up and dividing by how many there are so the mean average of the next four is eight and then nine then the next four ten and the next four eleven now obviously this data is a little bit artificial and real data wouldn't come out with such a neat pattern but it's just for the purposes of illustrating the topic and then the next four well we can't work out the next four because we haven't got June 2006 so we can start plotting these well they're called four point moving averages that we just worked out um, it's four points because we used four points to calculate them and then um, we move along one number each time to calculate the next one and it's an average of four points so it's clear why it's called a four point moving average we'll start plotting these on the graph then we'll just make that point four, four points make a whole year so it makes sense to calculate an average over four points yeah, so there was a reason I took four points and that's because it's a whole year so I plotted the first one, five degrees so it was the average of one, two, three, four points and I've plotted that moving average right between, right in the middle of the four points that it's the average of and then I'm going to keep plotting these so the next one was six degrees and again I've plotted it in the middle of the four points that it was the average of the next one will be seven degrees, of again plotted it in the middle of the four points um, and so on and hopefully I've lined up the table with the graph so you can see um, where a num where a point on the graph has come from because it lines up with the number in the table that's not something you have to do but I've done it to try and make it clearer so you, you plot the moving averages and you get something called a trend line if you draw a straight line um, as best you can through them. Now obviously with these numbers I've made it so that the trend line is exactly straight but um, you should always draw a straight line through all the points but it might not exactly go through all the points. So that straight line you draw is called a trend line. Again I stress it must be a straight line that you draw and the idea of that is that it's taken out all of the seasonal variation so instead of being an up and down line because it's each point is the average for a whole year then it's a smooth line because it doesn't go up and down with the seasons because it's a whole year
So there's just that point. The trend line consists of the moving averages. So what can we predict the temperature will be in June 2006? Now I'm going to say that predicted value is trend line value plus seasonal variation. You'll see what that is in a minute. Um, first of all, let's look at June 2006 on the graph. Now we could just read up from June 2006, like I've done there with that dotted line, and then read across, like that, to get a temperature. And then we could make the prediction that the temperature will be, um, well that's 13 and a half degrees in June 2006. But, the problem is that in June, we've seen before that the temperature is usually above the trend line. So, June 2006, or June in general, is hotter than the average temper temperature for the whole year. So we need to take that seasonal variation into account. The fact that June is hotter than general for the year. So the predicted value is the 13.5 degrees that we read from the trend line, but then a little bit more because June is usually hotter. Or it might be a little bit less if we were predicting for December, but some seasonal variation about how it differs differs from the pattern for the year in general. So if we look at June from previous years, in June 2004 it was 16.5 above the trend line. In June 2005 it was 16.5 above the trend line. So our seasonal variation is 16.5. So we're going to say that we predict that the temperature in June 2006 is going to be 13.5 plus 16.5. 13.5 from the trend line and 16.5 that it's usually above in June. And that makes 30 degrees. So we predict that the temperature in June 2006 will be 30 degrees.